Hello from Austria! Today we're gonna make a video for you and it's all about the glue and I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks how to work with this. Okay, so Marlene, why is the glue so liquid? Well, it's because it's still flexible. So if the glue would dry within seconds, then you would have to fix the lashes in a really, really good way and you would have no um, chance to change that. So um, it stays liquid to be more flexible. So actually that's a really, really good thing. So it makes the application easier, right? Yes, it makes it easier and uh, better to handle. So how and where do I have to apply the glue? So when you do the lash lifting, you take the lifting pad like this, so the flat side, this is the side that comes on the, onto the skin. You take the glue and put on a good amount, but not too much and not too less, onto the pad and really from the corner all over the pad to the other corner and here a little bit. Yes, and it should be covered with glue. And then you wait for a few seconds like I would say 20 seconds. Okay. So waiting time is over. And then we put the pad onto the skin and the outer corner, make sure there are no lashes underneath the pad. And then we take the outer corner a little bit upwards and pull it down to the lash line, very close to the lash line. There should be no space at all between the pad and the lash line. And then you wait a few seconds, give the glue the chance to dry and the time to dry. And wait a little bit. Okay, so now the pad is on the eye and how do you fix the lashes on the pad now? So first of all, you need the lifting tool we have, we created, and this is very helpful. And of course, we need the glue again. So I always start at the outer corner, but it's up to you. And then I put on the glue from the bottom to the middle. And I again wait for a few seconds. How long do you wait now? I would say about 10 seconds okay and then i take the lifter and then i gently press the lashes onto the pad and slowly this is the key a lot of people are just too busy they hurry too much but it takes some time and this is the thing i told you the glue is liquid because you can still, it's still flexible and you have the time to arrange the lashes in the perfect way. And you separate them a little bit with the tip of the lifting tool. Okay. So you work in sections, right? Yes, I always separate into three sections. So now I do the middle part, put on some glue. Again, I wait for a few seconds. And it's also important when you wait for a few seconds, close the tube, um, um, the styling glue again. Um, otherwise it might can dry out. So, I always press the finger on the top really softly because then I have a good... A good stretch. Yes, right? a good, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to work and speak at the same time. <laughs> and it's also a very good idea to put the finger on the pad because yeah. somehow you're holding the pad yes. at the same time yes. and you have some more pressure and it's easier to yeah. apply the lashes and to yes. fix them on the lifting pad in a yes. very straight way. Yes, that's correct. So now we have the inner corner. And this is also important. Make sure you lift all the lashes from the inner corner up. Again, some glue. Close it again, then wait for a few seconds. Then slowly and gently lift the lashes 
up. Okay, so are the lashes already perfectly fixed on the pad or um, do you want to change something? No, I want to change something and what I do, because it's already dry and you cannot change it now, but I take a little bit of glue, put it on where I want to change something, where I want to separate the lashes and then the glue gets flexible again or the lashes get flexible again and I can softly separate the lashes again but they stay on the pad and that is a good thing. Okay, and can I apply lash perm now, immediately after fixing the lashes or should I wait? No, you should wait a few seconds, like I would say 20 seconds until it's completely dry and then you can put on the perm. Okay, perfect. And what do you do if some lashes fall off or are not fixed good? Yeah, so uh, there are two tips I can give you. The first one is, um, it doesn't matter when some lashes fall off between the first and the second step, so between the perm and the neutralize. You have to make sure you fix them again after taking off the perm and before applying the neutralize. That is important because this step fixes the lashes in a new position, yeah? And what I do, I'm gonna show you. You now imagine there is perm on and neutralize. I take a cotton swab and I take off this, the cotton. And then you can just put this from underneath and give a little pressure from the outside. And it helps you to fix the lashes. And this is especially nice for the really small ones that are still growing. Just do it like this in the first step with the perm and then you take it off and then you put it on again for the neutralize. So these were the tips and tricks from the Academy team from Marina and I and we hope we could help you. If you have any more questions don't hesitate to ask and um, yeah have a good day and all the best. Bye bye! bye.